All right, Homo sapiens. This is my. Um, if you stumble across this video, we're cleaning the brass now. This is a one part of I don't know how many reloading vid, and this is step two after the priming and uh, no deep priming and um, resizing the brass. So what we're gonna do? We're using. Um, we're gonna use the. I don't know what it is. They have the dry. You know, use dry like corn cob. Well, if you don't know, you could use corn cob and a, and a, um, like a vibrator, a, some kind of sonic machine. And what it does, you put the corn cob in this thing that just shakes back and forth, and the friction, the subsonic friction, and all that, it uh, cleans the outside of the brass, makes it real nice and shiny. Well, I'm gonna try the liquid form because this is a lot cheaper. So how you do it, you could use um, you kind of you could kind of follow the instructions on the simple green which um, says use either hot or cold water mixed with um, whatever measurement you have right here like this is heavy cleaning one ounce of simple green with half a cup of water and then um, just put it in there and let it sit for one to two minutes and I haven't tried it yet but I've seen a guy do it and I'm pretty sure oh yeah it looks clean already it looks a lot cleaner and this step right here, I would recommend using rubber gloves because all the stuff in there. You know, when I'm handling the brass, when I was doing the first step, I put it, I put my um, my hand on the top, and it wasn't even that big of a deal. But this step right here, the water and everything. I don't know if the water is going to react with the the citrus or whatever is in the cleaner, the simple green. I don't know if it's going to react with it and make it easier for my hands to absorb. So I'd rather just avoid that altogether and use a rubber glove. If you have any doubts on any of the steps that you're going to get any kind of poison, use a rubber glove. Better safe than sorry. And if you don't use the, the rubber gloves <laughs> after you do each step, wash your hands. So what I'm doing I'm grabbing a handful and I'm kind of just putting them together whatever I can get to rub against the, the leather glove. And if you look at it, wow. It's a lot cleaner. It's a lot cleaner. And you can see the water. That water is pretty dirty. Looks good. And the reason I I deprimed it first, I've seen I've seen the guy I I got this tip from, he left the primer in there, but um I took it out because I'm hoping that this makes it a little easier when I um when I clean the primer pockets. I was hope, I'm actually hoping that the solution takes out any grud that's in the primer pocket, so I could just skip that stay all together. Okay, I'm, I'm going to let this soak just for a little bit more, probably um, it's been in there for like a minute. So probably I'm going to keep on doing with both hands, doing that, and then I'll get to the next step and come right back. Alright, looks good now. Nice and shiny. So what we're going to do, we're going to rinse it out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this without losing any brass down the garbage disposal. And the simple green is supposed to be safe for the environment, so I'm not worried about this killing any fish or anything. It don't smell like it's safe for the environment, though. And then instead of getting the strainer, I'm just going to let the water flow and just kind of like drain it out like that. Oh, yeah. Big difference. Everything's shiny now.
That looks damn good for just using simple green. And you can buy that at Home Depot for under 10 bucks. It was like around seven bucks. And that's, uh, I think it's one gallon. Man's full right now. It says it is, doesn't say, weird. Yeah, it's one gallon, it's right in front of me. Symbol green, all purpose cleaner. That looks good right there. I'm just pressing it because I'm. It'll be easier. It's gonna be easier for you because you're gonna have one hand, um, both hands wide open. So, so I'm just pressing it against the side so it doesn't lose any brass. I don't want a chance there be one brass that gets in the galvers disposal and raises hell when I turn it on. So now the next step, what I'm gonna do, I get this simple green out of the way. Get this bad boy over here. And I'm going to use to this in the sink because I don't want to put it on the, the what's it called, the countertop. Just put it just to make sure. Yeah, this one I'm going to need both of my hands. I'm going to lift that up and put this back in here with that paper towel on top under it. Hopefully it doesn't break through. No. These paper towels are pretty good from, from Costco. Really, really super absorbent. Let me take my glove off. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take them outside. So, grab some more of these paper towels. These paper towels from Costco, the sort, the Kirkland brand, really good, really absorbent. Lasts a long time. So, here we go. Okay, set you in the brass real quick. This helps me so I don't have to make multiple clips of the video. It's nice and bright outside. I'm gonna lay them right here. So just lay a piece of paper towel. That's it. Spread them all nice and even. And I'm gonna leave them out here until the sun's about to go down. Because at least that way I'll get. Hopefully it takes all the moisture out of it. And I'm doing this in the morning, it's probably like around nine o'clock in the morning right now. So, I might just upload, leave it like that. I don't know if I'm gonna add any more to this video, but that should be it right there. The next step is going to be the, um, gonna check the, the primer pockets, make sure they're clean. They're not gonna clean them. Put a primer in there, and then re then open up the mouth so that I could put a round in there. So, yeah, I'll just add that on to this step right here, this video. So, see you then.